the S15 cleans up so nice. This is literally the first car wash ever and I'm surprised all of that stuff came off. This thing was disgusting. Let's get right into the first mods for the S15 Sylvia. Right over here, we've got the Link G4 Plus. Thank God I'm sponsored by Link because there's actually, you know what, I'll just show you guys. Some of you guys might know what this is, some of you may not, but check this out. This is some old school ECU technology from Japan. This is a piggyback. Uh, there's this HKS AF knock amp. It's basically like the cheap way of tuning your car. And you can actually listen for knock from this little headphone jack right there. But you know what, I know nothing about it. And it's actually starting to malfunction on the car. So the best thing to do is just to completely remove it. And we have the link. This is a plug and play standalone. This literally goes in the old ECU's casing. And with this, we'll literally be able to tune the car, have it running perfect. I'm always finding Emmy just hiding randomly in one of the cars. The only JDM girl dog. You know what's crazy? I thought about it recently. Emmy has probably been in more dream cars than the majority of people. It's crazy to think, right? Look at that, and she thinks nothing of it. She just sits in there and enjoys it, sticks her head out the window. <laughs> Emmy's living life. While Luke is swapping to the new ECU, we're actually gonna get rid of this old air fuel ratio sensor and controller, whatever it is, and we're gonna be swapping it with this AEM one. And I want it to look pretty close to OEM, so we stole one of the vents, and I'm gonna figure out how to make this thing fit inside here and hopefully look good. And just like that, I'm done. What do you guys think? Looks good, huh? Since we're here, old coil packs are coming out and we're upgrading to the R35 coil packs. Available through Drift HQ. If you guys need anything, PRP. Okay, John, what are you guys working on over here? Bringing my wheels back to life. Yep. Check this out, guys. John's car. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> John's car caught on fire, and the wheels caught on fire too. And when he first started, the wheels looked like absolute crap. Look, he's bringing the gloss back, and if you guys look in the corner, you can still see where it was burnt. But. That's starting to look real good. So Vu's over here hitting the barrels. Right over here. We're gonna start by removing these tail lights because these tail lights have got to go. They're my least favorite things on the car. Hey, Emmy, you're back inside the car, huh? You guys ready for this? Check this out. Here are the new tail lights that are gonna be replacing the other ones. They're very similar, but these are not smoked. The trim right here is black, and these are D-Max LED tail lights. These are literally the same exact style, but once these go on the S15, you'll see a huge difference. Need this no more. Nice. All right. 
Let's compare the two. Do you guys like this side better? Or do you guys like this side better? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm pretty sure everyone likes this much better. Come on. Let's be honest. Holy crap! You're right. Yeah, that one's way brighter. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera. Yep, you can tell. Look. Okay, hazards, turn on hazards. This side has the LEDs, but you know what? I think this side still looks way cooler. Nice. There we go. Both tail lights are on. That looks so much better. Who would have thought tail lights can change the whole look of a car? Oh yeah, me. That's why I bought them. Duh. Come on, guys. Isn't it obvious? The R35 coal packs are in. And I had this laying around. I found it over there in all the used bad luck S13 parts pile. That car's never gonna run. So I figured we're gonna put this thing to good use. Throw it on this. Ooh. And I know, I know, where's the Tome? Right there, baby. Straight from Japan. Much better. Damn, we are moving. And we're not even done yet. We've got one more mod, and I think this also bugs me as well. I absolutely hate the bucket seat in this car. It's so uncomfortable. So, we're swapping the seats right now as well. You know why? Because tail lights aren't enough. A Link ECU is not enough. R35 coil packs is not enough for a good first mod video. We're swapping the seats too. Let's catch up with the boy. Oh my God. What, hey, what, what fire? What fire? <laughs> Vu's also going through and polishing the S15 strut bar as well. Well, before we can install the new seats, old seats have got to come out. And while everything is out, we're gonna go through and vacuum the entire car. Let's go. So I'm going through vacuuming the entire car and guess what I found. Emmy, you'll never guess what I found. Right here in the corner of the armrest is a picture of a little kid. I wonder if that's the old owner's son or something. I don't know. We are finally done with the S15. Check it out, guys. We got the confetti Recaros in. And yep, you already guessed it. First thing Emmy does is she claims the seats. Let me take you guys 
into the newly refreshed interior. All the floor mats are clean now. <sighs> Got my little homie in the corner over there. You don't need to know engine temps. But I forgot to mention, guys, check this out. What makes this car so special is that it actually has cup holders. In the 90s, none of the S chassis or Skylines had cup holders, but because this is a 2000 and that car, they have cup holders. Thank you, Nissan. New tail lights are on, refreshed interior with new seats, Link ECU, and the R35 coil packs. We are officially done with the first mods for the S15. What do you guys think? I think today is a pretty solid first mod video. What do you guys wanna see us do to the S15 next? Let me know down in the comments below. We can slam the car, new wheels, body kit. What do you guys wanna see first? Well guys, that concludes today's video. I hope you guys are excited for the S15 build. We're currently working on the 1J swapped S14 as well. And we're waiting on a few more things, so don't worry. The R34 will be coming back soon too. If you guys enjoyed today's video, go down, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Peace.